Hi Libra, welcome to your reading for August 2022. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, you're going to planets in the sign of Libra. You may be in love with the Libra. I know I have a lot of Libras I love. Um, you know, what? or you're intuitively guided. So whatever brought you to the channel, I want to say welcome. Um, just a real quick message. Um, some of you know, but maybe not all of you. I've been doing live um, yes or no questions online. Um, and I think I've done three or four now. And I'm, I'm really digging it myself. Like, I love connecting with you guys. So my question is, um, have you caught one? And, um, you know, do you think more than one a week is too much? So, I don't know, like I'm willing to do, I might do one tonight, but even though it's overcast here, I don't know. Um, and I'm just saying, because I don't want any leg, you know what I mean? So, give me your opinion, um, if you will, you don't have to. All right, let's get into your reading. We're going to use three different decks, guys. We're going to use the Mother Mary Oracle, which will be our first card, our words, words of wisdom. We're going to use the Late Seer's Tarot as your main spread and then we will use the um, Gilded Tarot to come back and clarify or go deeper whatever we need to do whatever we need to do these are not quick little readings um, they're more in depth you know if I want to get to let's say the Ten of Cups um, I got to be willing to start at the two, right? And I got to be willing to enjoy the journey and all that entails. Sometimes we can go from the two to the ten. But then I feel like we missed the journey. Anyway, your card came out quickly and it came out face up and we have compassion. Compassion. I see and feel others' points of view with forgiveness and kindness. I see and feel others' points of view with forgiveness and kindness. You know, it's almost like remembering that, like, we're all spirit, right? But we're in this human body, really having this human condition, which means um, human things will come up, right? And I feel like... The compassion is like coming a level above right seeing the big picture of of it all okay we'll read that at the end but I like to pull it in the beginning of the reading again this is the light seers tarot give them a cut And we're going to shuffle for your cards, so let's begin. Again, August 2022, though time is fluid, you know, time is fluid. And, you know, we're all going to be at different, well, not all, you know, some of us will be in the same places, um, but vibrational, you know what I mean? So you may be at this part of the reading where someone else is at this part of the reading. Well, we open with the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. We bring this lid down. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Both came face up, by the way. Page of Cups, you know, it's like when I learn to love myself, then I get the type of love that I'm truly looking for. You know, the Page of Cups to me, uh, if you just look at the image, it's like, you know, connecting to my higher self. It's a remembrance of whatever maybe that I'm dealing with um, or I have dealt with that I've dealt with before, you know, in a previous life. Um, sometimes it's a karma that we're paying back and uh, we want to pay it back, right? We want, we want it to, like, 
cut those ties for good. Um, some are generational. You know what I mean? I feel like, I don't know why I'm feeling all that, except I feel like there's a lot of different energy within this page of cups. And what I mean is it means a lot of different things for different people. And then you have the Ace of Cups, which is unconditional love. So compassion would make sense, right? Because to have unconditional love, there must be compassion, right? There must be. Because once I start putting conditions on it, Excuse me, one second. <clears throat> okay, sorry, I had to stop it for one second. Um, Sam just walked in. <laughs> I'm like, why do you just walk in, knock? Anyways, seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles. What's going on here? Okay, let's talk about seven of pentacles. I feel like each card, like it's um, each card's important. And then look at this, we have the Seven of Swords. First of all, Seven of Swords is mirroring the Page of Cups. So I feel like part of what you're overcoming or have overcome or are overcoming is the Seven of Swords energy. And it's the energy of, listen, it's untrustworthy energy. But sometimes it can even be my own thoughts, right? Maybe I did deal with untrustworthy energy you know maybe for whatever reason that's no longer but the thoughts right the thoughts are still there um how i make my decisions are still there um and listen it's it's good to be aware of it but what i mean it's almost like this energy is taking up space within you your head your heart and then therefore i feel like that may be why I said that this love, this Ace of Cups, needs, is unconditional. It doesn't need to be. It is unconditional. It is unconditional. So maybe it's like we're reaching that level. So, listen, maybe you were with someone who, um, again, the energy just wasn't right. They weren't, they weren't the best for you at that time. Um, and maybe it is saying that, you know, um, if I can forgive... Um, even like you know in compassion I see and feel others points of view with forgiveness and kindness almost like uh, I don't want to be this way it's just the way I, I, I am it's you know or I think that I am it's the way that I was raised um, it's just the way that I've always been doesn't mean I want to be that way and maybe you're seeing that and understanding that and because of that it's like freeing you at the same time Seven of Pentacles, um, it speaks of patience. So if if this energy of the Seven of Swords has anything to do with your future, then I feel like the patience would be the healing of this Seven of Swords. And it can't be healed unless I understand it. You know, it's like, it's just reminding me very quickly, I'm just gonna say like my own story with my mother, right? It's like, you know, um, for many years I saw it one way and then as I got older I started looking at it from the big picture right having four teenage kids at the same time and you know what I mean and I and I started to understand much more than I did you know like it's almost like I wasn't forgiving her humanness but humanness is humanness anyway seven of pentacles gives you time to work it out number one right gives you time to work it out seven of pentacles also is like this is your tree of your apples let's say these are your apples your tree and you choose when to pick them sometimes we pick them before they're ripe they're a little sour right so that's where the patience comes in allowing things to come to full fruition okay let's keep going two sevens by the way We have Justice, your card, card of Libra. Um, it can speak of a divorce. It can speak of the cutting of ties. Um, listen, I feel like, you know, if it's, 
the cutting of energetic ties, let's say. And again, it's like, you know, past energy affecting me in the present moment. Like, how can I give unconditional love? I still have all this stored anger from the Seven of Swords, right? How can I give unconditional love? So, you know, and, I, and what I mean by that is like, I feel like we need to be what we want. And if this is still stored, and then therefore, you know, making, not, not making me make decisions, but I therefore make decisions out of that. It's almost like you can predict your own future. All right, what am I holding? Justice. Listen, when justice shows up in a reading, it is about making you whole again, balancing you, you and your life. Um, and yes, sometimes it means cutting of ties, but whatever ties are being cut, um, probably are meant to. We have the Seven of Wands. So now we have three seven, seven seventy-seven. Seven of Wands above, with the Ace of Cups above it. Wow. And then look at this, we have the Six of Swords. This is telling you a story. You know, it's like, I see it. You know, one time I was in this Seven of Swords energy. There was energy around me that even if I wanted to trust it, maybe I couldn't. <clears throat> and then I almost feel like the person in if it's a person in the seven of swords it's just like it's just it's just the way I've always been type of thing um because I almost feel like they haven't come to full development you know and maybe that means spiritually I don't know but they haven't come to full because you know they're looking at themselves as this is what I am I'm nothing more right they're not seeing the the light potential in them Um, so anyways, you know, and then it feels like it affects you because, you know, love is just whatever this energy is, is not, you know, it's not producing the fruit, let's say that you had hoped for. Now, when we look at the Ace of Cups, what's below it is a Seven of Wands, and that's defensive type energy, defending my actions, um, you know, defending, you know, other people's actions towards me. You know, it is the, it is the feeling of needing to defend oneself. However, it, you know, I, these queens, um, like this queen, she looks like she's in meditation, right? Like she's rising above the drama of these sevens. And I'm saying that because right next to her is the Six of Swords. And that's exactly what's happening in the Six of Swords. I am recognizing what has been toxic to me. And maybe has even slowed down um, my opportunity to have unconditional love. Because i got to find it within myself. That means i got to forgive myself. I don't have regrets. You know? Um yeah six of swords is moving out of that energy so first of all if this has been living in your head you're kicking it out you're kicking it out coming below the seven of pentacles for some of you it's like here's the answer like like we've been waiting for you to um understand this type of energy and then to cut it out right to leave it this person's leaving that those five swords behind starting a new adventure new people new places feels meant to be this is the energy of if you can follow your intuition it's taken you right where I feel like you want to be. Doesn't mean, you know, I don't want to keep harping on this, but this is the leaving of this. Leaving it behind. Clearing it from my mind. Cutting the energetic ties.
What's that doing for you? It's you then finding true balance within yourself. You know, in the Seven of Wands, she reminds me of the Queen of Wands. Um, but she feels like very Zen-like, right? Zen-like. And right under that Ace of Cups. Well, hello, Magician. You know, um, many times our readings, they're about our actions, not what Spirit wants to say to us. Spirit wants us to look at it from the big picture and then um, move accordingly, right? But free will allows us to do what we want, right? If we decide to color outside the lines, so be it. But the Magician is the power to manifest. This magician's coming under the Seven of Swords, but the Six of Swords is beside it. So I feel like it's interesting because what's mirroring the magician is justice. And I feel like the minute that I start moving away, because in the Six of Swords, what we want to remember is it says, listen, the waters can feel a little choppy, but what you got to focus on are the beautiful beaches that lie ahead right um and this is just choppy water like you can get through it and you know what does it move you to it moves you to the energy of the manifester and it's mirroring justice so i feel like it's giving you uh first of all it's you manifesting from true balance magician is also even considering that seven of swords energy almost like I'm putting this mixture together. This, this, I'm not going to say spell because, you know, I don't feel that, but, but it's like an energetic mixture. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the death card, card Scorpio, um, but it's about an ending, um, but it is a rebirth can take place. You know, listen, we can be in love with someone and it just not work out. And sometimes we gotta learn just to, to move on, right? Move on because maybe just for that period of time, was all it was meant to be and you know um and i say that because i feel like you know sometimes you know it's like kissing a lot of frogs before we, we meet the prince right these people before the prince or princess are teaching me what i don't want and what i do want right i'm growing through the experiences even though even though doesn't mean it's easy and that's what the five of pentacles represents right almost like tower type energy feeling thrown out into the cold not really having control but she does have control <clears throat> she does have control i feel like this is someone who also has thought about cutting ties with probably someone um but recognizes that the journey won't be easy and I feel like you're right. It won't be easy. Um, but very quickly, it will start to change. Um, why? Because this is a period, you know, sometimes when you're in your darkest, this is when you meet true soulmates. And I'm not talking romantic soulmates. Sometimes, yes. I'm talking about soulmates who are meant to come in like myself i feel like i am many of your soulmates and i'm here to help to help guide you um at one point in your time maybe for the rest of your life you know what i mean um maybe it's just for a short period of time but it's still um i don't know you know what i'm saying so i'm in the five of pentacles you know the key to unlock the next adventure is right there on the floor and then you have the death card right so i feel like 
I feel like I do pick up that key. Six of Swords also tells me that you pick up that key and you unlock that door. And, you know, hey, the Ace of Cups is on that path. Well, hello, Ten of Cups. And then, wow, the world. How interesting because, you know, sometimes I think, sometimes I think I lost it all. But the truth is you haven't even found it yet. Like what you think you've lost is just the beginning of maybe what love will look like in your life. And again, maybe um, each time it's helping you. Sometimes you gotta look at patterns. I'm seeing these sevens, right? The patterns of seven. Um, but seven is also about your spirituality. It's a very spiritual number. Spiritual completeness. Um, I don't know why, but like all of a sudden I'm feeling like, um, like I'm an Aquarius and I'm retreating. But I'm retreating to um, learn something. Anyway, okay. Let's see what's on the bottom. Well, hello, four of wands. So, you know, listen, I do feel like cutting up the ties of what was. Why? Because it just doesn't serve you. It just doesn't serve you. Again, what I think that I've had and I won't have again, I am wrong. You are wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. Listen, maybe there's seven lovers in your life. You know, seven different lovers. Uh, maybe some are, you know, ones you make commitment to. And maybe there's a few that just, like, you know, their memory comes every, up every once in a while. Like you know, like my first boyfriend in junior high school. You know what I mean? Um, but each being a pinnacle within your life. So... You know, and it's like, I see this clearly now. And because of that, it's like the willingness to go through that choppiness becomes, and the knowing that you are the one who's manifesting from this minute, from this very moment, you're manifesting the potential of what your future will look like. So, if I look at this energy it does feel like right the cutting of ties is something right and it does affect me it does affect me it could affect me financially um it could just affect my whole life but this is energy getting through it um not getting stuck in it right and i feel like in the five of pentacles a lot of times you don't have a choice like you have to keep moving just know if you're in it right now like there are soulmates on their way and you know, it's like as soon as that death happens, you know, it's interesting how I opened your reading and said we can't expect to go from the two to the ace or the ten of cups, right? But there is your ten of cups. Here it is. And by the way, it's connected to the next portal. Oh, and by the way, it's you who's manifesting it. You know, it's like 50-50. That's how I look at it, right? And I feel like it's already, like, on your tree of life. Like, these are your soul's intentions that I wanted to experience here on the physical plane. You do have that realization. <clears throat> and then you, you know, it's like when I take all blindfolds off and I see what's affecting my energy in a negative way there you know and therefore my life um it seems like it gets easier and easier and easier to make the changes right because five speaks of change now i know that's a six but you're moving from the five we're in the year of the lovers too the six a six year universal year so i feel like this is definitely talking about this year but i just want you to see your power 
right? Because here is the Ten of Cups. And by the way, the Ace of Cups is a beautiful energy to come out to represent it because it talks about unconditional love. It means someone can love even the broken pieces of you. It's not saying search for perfection. No, because you'll never find it. But what it's saying is this is about love. Like, I can love you through it. Now, I want you to understand something though the seven of the seven of swords again i feel like this is of the past you're like then why don't i love this person through it because there's also personal experiences right this person over here this energy anyways it it needs to grow it needs to grow it needs to have its own realizations right and like it doesn't matter how much love i throw on it um, they feel like they are what they are what they are so maybe you know their souls here part of you know one of the experiences is to learn that they can be more but that's out of our control that's out of our control so I feel like we move on and look at this this is a, a happy home this is a home full of love and laughter and joy and listen it doesn't mean there's not issues but this is this is you know the people in this house they come together and they work it out and they figure it out right there's no blindfolds it's it's a truly an energy of joy some of you feel like oh I thought that's what I had interesting because I just picked up that four of wands and now I picked up the nine of swords underneath that interesting because and now we have the star and I did feel the energy of Aquarius by the way um, but the star is about your hopes your dreams and your wishes right but then you have the nine of swords and that is I worry I worry too much I wor it won't come true I worry I'm on the, the wrong path or the wrong person and I gotta let go of that again what I cannot control let go of um, but what you can control listen the magician can create any world he wants she wants I love that the world's below that too by the way because I feel like this is also a very spiritual time and even as it's the seven of swords above that it is a seven so it is also spiritual this person may be learning about their spirituality and maybe they got to go through the dark well so be it but you on the other hand look at this so you know you may worry that you know the four of wands is the commitment card the marriage card it may be part of your worry is maybe that's what I want but I worry that it won't come to me or if it does come to me it's going to come tainted um, you know and listen if it did but you are learning more and more and like you can't allow yourself to be this person in the five of pentacles look she's just like crunched down and there's opportunity that's right behind her and a lot of fives are that they speak of change right and to do it as you know it serves you to do it as gracefully as possible because five is also the the energy of grace um so anyways you know and listen yes i feel like this energy tainted your viewpoint on what love may look like what it's supposed to look like um and then you know you wonder like okay so these ties are cut you know does that mean I'll never have love again you know if I think that way I guess that's a potential right but if I think the opposite way like you know I expect good things to happen and therefore they do right I'll be in love when love is right right but in the meantime in the meantime I'm going to clean my own house I'm going to make sure my house is the windows are open the doors are open right I'm wide open to receiving that old crappy stuff it's gonna go right so I can make room for what is new 
all right, will I? You know, will I ever get married again? Will I ever have a commitment again? You know, like, if that's what you want, yes, I feel like. All right, it is really raining out. I hope you can hear it. Alright, I am not going to go over this whole reading because um, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's pretty clear. But we will go over a couple of them. I feel like someone is like, Sandy, how do I manifest? Well, it begins with cutting the ties to um, just what's no longer serving you. And that just means you're not going to allow it to take room you know, space in your head. Okay, what do I want to look at? I don't even know. We have the Four of Pentacles, and then we have the King of Wands. Um, can be an Aries Leo, Sagittarius. I'm just going to kind of take it over the reading, because... I don't even know what to look at, to be honest. I feel like that's how clear it is. So let's just do it this way. Look at this. We have the lovers. And by the way, it's coming over a six. It's coming over the six of swords. How interesting. It's like, I swear to God, this reading is saying, when I realize that I am not stuck with less or accepting less, right? The, this is the year of the lovers. This is meant to it's meant to be romantic it's meant to be that way um you know when you think of the lovers head over heart decision right head over heart decision coming over that six of swords well she made that decision right she's seen what's toxic what's toxic and she has made that decision to move on she's already made that decision underneath that is that ten of cups again it's like you know she's in right now she's in those choppy waters but where is she heading well she's heading to the ten of cups and then the lovers over that over the six of swords i don't know wow um and by the way connected to and he's looking right down you know this this person in the this man in the seven of pentacles is looking right down at these lovers again this is all about your soul seed of attention think of a seed like what can i do with it the magician i create this seed now if i focus and give it my love and my attention and, and you know what i mean my nurturing it will grow it will grow now if i ignore it and just let it shrivel up and die then that's what will happen right um again your power jeez all right anything else want to come out we have the knight of swords knight of swords coming into the reading this night is bringing some form of communication. Um, can be a form of truth. We have, look at that, the Five of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Nice. You know, that's you. And that's you being successful in your life. I feel like, you know, and it's a sense of independence. <clears throat> It's a sense of independence. Look at this. Here comes the Ace of Pentacles for this, these lovers. That means they are coming into each other's physical world. Look at this. Two knights. And now the Knight of Pentacles. So it's like this knight is your guardian angel. And this knight is being sent in. This guardian angel is responsible for this Ace of Pentacles. It's interesting because you're in the Nine of Pentacles. And that is you. Once I've, I've had true realization of what is toxic, period. I know I speak about it all the time, but it's such a major part of our life. Um, and then I learn the importance to be able to take care of me. 
um, maybe both financially, but also um, in all ways, right? This is this is like your own foundation being strong. And then the Ace of Pentacles. Well, if I take that Ace and add it to the Nine, there's the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles over the Ten of Cups. What the hell? <laughs> and then look at this. The High Priestess. Your intuition. You know, I feel like when will this happen? You have a big, big part in it. This is quite beautiful, really. I mean, as I look at it, it's so beautiful because... You know, it's recognizing where you've been, no doubt. It's recognizing what has taken space in your head. Re plenty of reasons why. But you can still go beyond that, right? Like you can you can have the understanding. Maybe compassion is born out of it. I don't know. This could be someone coming in who's had like tremendous growth. Now, how do you know? You trust your gut. Like, you know, that's what we have to learn. Like, just because someone was, and I don't want to say abusive, no one who is abusive, narcissistic, I don't mean that. This is just someone I feel like had to grow. Um, they will reveal themselves to you in time. Like, so take it slow and trust your gut. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like your your guides are saying the red flags will be raised if they're if by chance this would not be right for you. But it's coming on the arms or the wings of your guardian angel. So I just feel like who's ever in the lovers, um, it's talking about the chemistry of two people. I feel like you know is this talking about a previous. A pre, um, let's say a previous journey, a previous pinnacle in your life where it was not easy, you have learned a lot. Yes. Um, you know, what I have to learn is even if I'm in a difficult, even if someone stopped loving me, if that's what I feel, I can't stop loving myself. And I had to learn that, right? You had to learn compassion, not only for others, but really for yourself. So, what do I say? I feel like um, um, what do I want to say? You know, in this, I just want to say, make you understand. <clears throat> this may have nothing to do with someone of the past this may be saying that you've learned and you've survived right and you've grown and be proud of that be proud of that um it may just be saying your life has been leading you um to this point of being able not only to receive well let's put it another way not only give because I feel many of you are able to give, but also to receive. That means if you're not receiving it, I've got to recognize that because you deserve it. And it's on your tree of life. When I feel like um, for many, it's like when that door closes because immediately a rebirth seems to happen listen when i say a rebirth happens that may mean a nine can represent the next journey i've been alone now for nine years but during that time i've been growing financially creatively um becoming more and more independent and i'm liking it i like it right so you know it it's not for nothing so you may be well removed from that and it just may be time. It may be time. You know, I guess the question I want to ask is, can I give unconditional love? That is not easy. But can I do it? I'm capable. Can I receive it? Okay, let's read Compassion. I think I don't want to over-talk it. Let's let Mother Mary... Her words be the final words. 
This card is an angel that comes to you to uplift the way you're seeing your current situation and the people in it, including yourself. As a sensitive person, you're affected by others' negativity and this has recently darkened your emotions and thoughts. To bring more light into your world, see people's situations through the eyes of Mother Mary and the angels. Know that they and you are doing the best they can. You know, that's what I felt in that, like someone in that Seven of Swords saying that, like, that's just who I am. I don't know any other way. But I feel like eventually they will. Okay. Although we all make mistakes, ultimately, everyone wants the same thing, peace and love. This card calls for you to be the peacekeeper in this situation and to make the first move towards a harmonious resolution. By sharing peace and love, you bring healing blessings to this situation and increase your own self-esteem. Beautiful. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. I thank you. As always, much, much gratitude. Um, I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.